Hello everyone, welcome to Streaming Tech Now. Thanks for joining me. Now I know a lot of you are starting to get this TiVo Stream 4K and when you first open it up you probably notice that it is a pretty fast device and you know if you've had an Amazon Fire Stick which the 4K Fire Stick is, is pretty quick. In fact I don't really you know notice too much of a difference however when you fine tune this TiVo Stream 4K you can make this thing fly. Check this out. I'm on my particular device right now and look how fast this just goes I mean from app to app there's just zero lag and if I open up a particular app there's zero loading time if I go back to the home screen and boom it just opens right up I'm gonna do one more look at that there's zero lag it's extremely fast and I'm gonna show you how you can fine-tune your device as well So most Android phones and a lot of Android boxes come equipped with the ability to enable developer options. Now developer options allows you to test certain features, access certain parts of your phone or device that are usually locked away. As you might expect, developer options are usually hidden uh, by default, but it's very easy to enable. Now, it allows you to enable debugging over USB. It captures various bug reports on your Android device. It shows your CPU, central processing unit usage, on your screen to measure the impact of your software and things like that. But if you don't use developer options correctly, it could potentially mess up your system. So you don't want to just go inside of developer options and mess around with it. There's only three things that I typically go inside of developer options to mess with, and that is to make your device much faster. And I usually do this on all my Android boxes, on all of my Android phones. This is usually what I do. And so I'm gonna show you a couple things. The first thing is, and I'm gonna actually give you a demonstration of how um, significant the difference is. So if you go into settings, just come up here to settings, click the enter button on your remote, and then scroll down to where it says device preferences. So we first have to enable this developer options. It's, it's extremely easy to do. So just go to about right here on the top and click the enter button and then scroll down to where you see build right here. And so from build, all we have to do is to click that enter button seven times. And once you click that seven times, you enable your developer options. Now I've already enabled mine. So if I click mine seven times, seven, it says no need, you are already a developer. But if I wasn't already a developer, it would say you have just enabled your developer options. So once you do that, then just click the back button and then go down and you're going to now have this option right here, developer options. So we're going to just simply open that up and we're going to come down. And remember, I don't, I usually don't come in here and mess with anything except for a few things. And this is just, this is what I do. Come down here to where it says window animation scale transition animation scale and animator duration scale. Those are the three things. Now, when it comes, um, when you first get your TiVo Stream 4K, it's gonna come defaulted. I believe it's on like 1.5. It might be on one, it might be on 1.5. I don't remember because I changed it right away, but I want to show you the difference. So let's go ahead and change it to 1.5. I'm going to change it to 1.5. And what I want you to pay attention to is whenever I open something and then the amount of time it takes to scroll from one app to another, that 1.5 basically equates to one and a half seconds. So the two would be two seconds, and that's basically two seconds for that animation to kind of load up as you load that app. So the less you have, the faster it's gonna load up. And I wanna give you a quick example. So I'm gonna leave it on, and you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and put it to, put it to two because it'll give you a much better illustration of exactly the difference. So let me go down to transition animation and I'm gonna change that to two as well. And then I'm gonna go to this last one, animator duration scale, I'm gonna change that to two. Now watch this guy, so if I go back to the home screen, 
as I scroll from app to app, I'm trying to click as fast as I can and notice that it's much, it's much slower than in my intro. Now watch this as I open the app, watch the animation as it loads. Ready? Here I go. Did you see that? Now let me go to the home screen. Let me open up another one. Watch the animation as I load it. Okay. So as you can see, um, the, the lower you have, the faster it's going to be. Let me do one more. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the home screen. And now what I'm going to do is I usually keep it off or put it on a half a second. So I'm going to go back down to device preferences and watch the huge difference guys. I'm going to go down to developer options. I'm going to go back down to those different scales. And now I'm going to change it to off. Okay. I'm just going to turn it off now. I'm going to turn all three of them off. Okay. Now watch this. I'm going to hit the home button. Now watch this. Look how fast this is. It's just, it's just instant. Look at that. Now when I open up a particular app, watch this, there's going to be zero animation because I turned it off. Boom. Let me go back to the home screen. As you can see, there's zero animation. It's so much faster. Boom. Okay. So that is what you guys should do. If you want to make this thing go super fast, this is what I highly recommend. Okay. So the next thing that I recommend is to go into the Google play store. And a lot of people think that this app is actually just for the fire stick, but it's actually not. It's actually done by a developer and he has made it and you can actually get this app right on the, in the Google play store. So if I click this, what I want to do is I'm going to go to the microphone and I want to go ahead and ask for background processes, background processes. This is the app right here. And I already have it installed. If you don't have it installed, go ahead and just open it up and install it. And so this is such a great app. And so basically what this does is it's going to capture everything that's running in the background. Now you don't even know what's running in the background unless you have this app, because this will specifically tell you which apps are running in the background. And it gives you the opportunity to not only clear the cache, but you can also force stop it as well. So let me give you an example. I'm going to go down to this VLC right now and I'm going to click the enter button and it's going to bring you to inside the settings. So you can go down right here to where it says clear cache. You can click that, click OK, and then go back up to where it says four stop and then click OK and then click the back button. And now, as you can see, it's gone and you can go to the very next one. So if I want to do this one, let me um, go ahead and click the enter button. It's going to take you inside of the settings here. I'm going to go down to clear cache, click OK, and I'm going to go back up to four stop, click OK. And then as I go back, it's going to be gone. So now those apps are no longer running in the background. And by doing this, you're going to give yourself more RAM and it's going to free your device up and it's going to just, it's going to move a lot faster. You're going to have less buffering and things like that. So now there's one other thing that I want to show you. I'm going to click the home button and this is a great feature. I wish the fire stick had this. If you go up to settings and then if you go down to apps. And then if you go down to actually, I'm sorry, you're going to go down to device preferences and then you're going to go to storage. And if you click internal shared storage, if you click that, you can scroll down to right here where it says cached data. And if you click that, you can literally stop at all of your, it's, it says right there, this will clear cache data for all your apps. So you can go ahead and click OK and boom, you've just cleared all of that. All right. So that's another thing that you can do. So if you guys try those three things, your device is going to st stay streamlined. It's going to stay extremely fast. And the other thing that I recommend is don't load up your device, only install the apps that you are going to use all the time. If you're not using it frequently, then just delete it. Don't actually keep it on your device. 
even though this you know this is a newer device it still has the same amount of storage as the 4k fire stick it is much easier to add storage on this if you want to um, as far as external storage but you guys keep your device streamlined it will work so much better you'll have less buffering and it's just gonna fly guys I hope you enjoy this video if so don't forget to hit that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time on streaming tech now